Welcome back to dinner time with Chani and Delina. <laughs> 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 I'm your host, Kim Jong Un. And I'm Jung Cook from BTS. Fire! Hey guys, Hello. today we're cooking chicken katsu curry. Yes, it is our first time making mm. this, so hopefully it turns out delicious. I like Japanese food. Oh, I like Japanese food. Shabu shabu udon <laughs> Chicken katsu curry time. Yes. So here are the ingredients we have today. Mm. Very important. These are panko crumbs. Panko crumbs. Panko. <laughs> panko. You have chicken thigh pieces. You can also use pork if you like, but we have chicken today. Yeah. These are the golden curry cube mixes. Yay. And we love we those. Have, Our favorite ones. Which we have medium hot. Medium hot. Potatoes, of Ooh, course. Oh, your cousins. Also some onions, yep. eggs, carrots. Carrots. For some spice. Chili. We have red pepper paste. I mean, <laughs> powder. Yeah. Red pepper powder. Let's get prepping. So my job as sous chef is to prep the ingredients. Sous chef. <laughs> <laughs> Do all the hot labor. Yay. Oh, that's some good feeling. Thank you. So what's your connection with potatoes? So. Why do you love them so much? They look like me. Yeah. And they also taste like me. <laughs> they come in all shapes and sizes, like me. Right, skinny potato is a french fry. Yeah. And a fat potato is a delena. Yeah. Oh. And look, see, it's like really nice on the inside. And on the outside, they can be a bit scruffy, but on the inside, they're very sweet and lovable. <laughs> like me. Yeah, potato gang, that's <laughs> it. So this is our first time making katsu curry, any type of katsu to be honest. We generally don't fry or deep fry a lot of our foods. Yes. We tend to go out to restaurants to do that. So this is our first time deep frying, making batter, and also having a great time. But uh, we've made curry before, that's for sure. Yeah, we always usually make curry. It's really easy. You just Curry's use so easy. these mm. and they come in little cubes and you just chuck it in. Chuck it in the water and you're done. Yeah. Yeah. I almost forgot to buy these vegetables. I went to the grocery store, I got the panko, I got the chicken, I got the chili, but I forgot the vegetables. That's how much vegetables mean to me. Very we forgettable. Vegetables. Another yes. reason why I really like potatoes is just because, you know, a potato couch. Why is a couch potato? Yes, couch potato. <laughs> you got a you got a potato couch? You got a couch made out of potatoes? I'm How like delicious. The biggest couch potato ever. Yeah. That's why we always call ourselves potatoes and we just like love to eat and just like love to lounge around like potatoes, you know? Yeah. So if there was like a face on this, like he would just be like lounging around and be like, oh you know. But if you had a couch made out of potatoes, you would you would definitely sleep in it and then eat it every now and then, yeah? Yeah, just take a bite out of it. So I learned this recipe from our friend Kelvin, you can check out his channel. <gasps> so I learned this recipe from Kelvin, you can check Ooh. out. <laughs> so I learned this. <laughs> you can check out his channel, Kel's Kitchen, and we are going to just follow that. This is our style and we're just going by feel. No measuring cups today, no tablespoon, teaspoon, yes. BS. We're just gonna feel it, taste it, feel eat it. Feel it with love. Yeah. That's how we do. And then we can give these to your dad's chickens. Oh, you are a very generous person. My dad actually never throws this kind of stuff out. He always just chucks it in his backyard to help the crops grow, yeah. kind of like compost. My parents um, keep eggshells. In the garden? Yeah. So they keep eggshells and they put it in the garden? I'm not sure what they do with it, but last time I was um, at my parents and then I cracked an egg and then I was gonna chuck the eggshell into the bin, but then my dad just like grabbed it off me and then he chucked it into a bucket with all these empty eggshells. And I was like, okay. And he's just like, oh, I'm gonna use these later. Next up, carrots. I love these carrots, they're called oh, cool. jackrabbit. Jackrabbit? Jackrabbit, $3. Oh, I didn't even know that. Our dog's name is Jack, for yeah. those that don't know. Mm. He is a husky. 
He's outside right now, very upset because he's like, why do I have to be outside? But if yeah. he was here, he would be like- Trying to eat him. He'll be right here with his head here. We don't usually keep him outside. He's an indoor dog, but mm. he's only outside today because we are cooking. Yeah, you can see him kind of like- We'll let him in later. Our neighbor is also growing plants in their backyard and it's coming over to our backyard, oh, yes. which is great because now we get free vegetables. Yeah. And the we parents love it. But we don't even eat the vegetables. I think the only thing we've made that's Japanese is what, sushi? Yeah. Um, when we started dating, Delena was cooking, pretending to be an awesome hot wifey. Pretending? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had your delicious sushi for years now, girl. Well, you haven't been as nice to me. Oh. After all these years. <laughs> what, what do you mean? I care about you a lot. That was horrible. What does that even mean? <laughs> yeah. Ew, look at this. We've got like some hair coming out. Ooh. Looks like yours. <laughs> Please. This is a cooking show. Well, this I was is a PG to, cooking show. I was trying to make your joke better oh, by adding my that. joke, you know? Well, anyway, so we made sushi. We made that multiple yes. times. Uh, instant udon and ramen yeah, yeah. is- A lot of instant stuff. A lot of instant stuff. Any other Japanese food we made? That's it. I think sushi is the only Japanese food we've ever made. Miso soup. That's instant. <laughs> That's instant again. So sushi and this is the first time ever making a full meal katsu yes. chicken curry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to make the rice. Let me make the rice. Oh okay. shit, gotta make the rice, gotta make the rice. Oh, okay. I'm getting a little uh, anxiety because it feels like my mom's coming home. <laughs> So I'm going to show you how I make my rice, usually three cups, and then I wash it three times. I've made so much rice in my life that I don't need to do like the finger trick to know how much water you have to put in. I just, uh, just know, you know? And the rice that I like the most is usually very, very squishy. I don't know why, but I really like squishy rice. I don't like hard rice, kind of like beady where you have to like chew into it. I prefer a rice where I can just kind of swallow and enjoy and eat it really quickly. And rice is one of my addictions. I love rice so much. Oh my God, look at this. This is a chicken breast. This ain't a thigh. I know breasts when I see them. Look how big this thing is. What kind of steroids does this chicken have? Anyway, we're gonna wash it real quick because you don't know where the Asian butchers have been. Please excuse the sounds in the background. That's just the rice cooker struggling to make rice. I've had that thing for 10 years. Anyway, I'm gonna have it for another 10 years. That's just how it is. Here's a big piece of chicken. Look at that, we're gonna fry that up. It's gonna be so bloody sexy. Okay, we're gonna first chop it in half. That's what the uh, the chefs recommend. I'm gonna try to get that perfectly in half. Look at that. Oh, I feel like a sashimi chef. That's mine, that's yours, babe. All right, I'll give you the pretty one and I'll have the chunky, funky one. <laughs> Thank you. What's going on in there? Is it making popcorn? It's noisy. The next step is to glad wrap the table like so. Put your chicken on top. Glad wrap it again. Man, chicken's so slimy, I hate it. We're gonna beat the chicken so it's gonna even out and cook really nicely in the fryer, in the oil as well. Uh, I don't have those kind of cooking hammers. I've got one of these rolling pins. Beat it, you know? Not too hard, you don't want to break the chicken. You just wanna even it out so the meat gets all tender. Oh, this is fun. Oh, this is how my mom felt. Oh, when she whacked me. This feels like an ass cheek too. So it's like, oh, and it leaves no bruising. There you go, mom smart. She knew if I went to school and I had bruises, <laughs> big trouble. Wow. <laughs> Let's see how it feels. Does it feel tender? Oh my God. Ooh. Oh, I feel like a plastic surgeon. How is it? I'm an Instagrammer now. <laughs> I'm an Instagram model. It's, it's so simple. That burn to IG models. I love IG models, all right? I support you, I like your photos, and I scroll through all the bikini ones. He does, he does. I see him do it at night all the time. Really? Yeah, with one hand. Let's go, next one. Beat it, beat it. See this one, this piece of chicken is all over the place. It's not as sexy as the other one. This one, like here, is a lot more higher than this level, so you want to beat that. 
beat that meat. Panko crumb. What's the difference between normal bread crumbs and panko bread crumbs? Are they just more crispy? Wait, are, are these bread crumbs? Yeah. Oh my god. So yeah, I think they're just more um, flaky. Yeah, that's a word. And they're perfect for prawns and also katsu. We're gonna make some egg wash, okay? Egg wash, just uh, two eggs, beat it into poilu. <laughs> what? Beat it into what? <laughs> beat the two eggs into a plate and then just, uh, that is your egg wash. That simple, guys. There we go. Beat that up. Listen, we, we just watch YouTube. We don't know what's going on. <laughs> so once again, we just watched our friend's YouTube video and we're just copying that. I'm not even going back on my phone to watch it. I'm just going by memory. And my memory is a little bit, it's getting old. Delena also has a memory, but hers is like a goldfish. Oh, and here we also have flour. Oh yes, we forgot to I mention. I forgot to mention that we have flour. In the ingredients, you need flour. Like I said, our memory is terrible. I'm gonna salt and pepper these chicken. Oh, look at this one. This one's horrible. Mm. Hopefully it turns out all right. Maybe I should have just used another piece of chicken. Salt. Wash my hands. So there's a technique to this, all right? You don't just blah, 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 wherever you want. You don't, it goes in the flour first, then in the egg wash, and then in the crumbs, okay? Oh. And you use two separate hands. One hand for the slimy stuff, one hand for the bread crumbs, all right? Oh. So Let's do So first, we're going to put it into Wait. the Wait, shouldn't you test with the bad one first? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, into the flour, like so. Ooh. Ooh. That looks pretty good. Yeah. And into the wash. One. God, what are we doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna eat in the breadcrumbs. I don't know. Listen, I don't know. <laughs> if you want, you can always um, taste the chicken beforehand to see if it's no. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to make a spicy one. Mm. So I'm going to use the powder and put it in here. Ooh, a bit of color. Ooh. Wow. Okay, I think that's enough. There's like balls that just came rolling out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it smells really good. So my one will just be an original and Delana's will be spicy katsu. Mm, I want to make it a bit more spicy. Really, what about these balls? You can always break them. Oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty good, yeah. Beautiful. It's like reddish. Yeah, it looks good. So I got my peas. Oh, you're supposed to do one hand. <laughs> no, I don't know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I'm just go. YOLO, YOLO, don't worry about this, the rules. We break the rules. But why do we have to use one hand? I don't know, I just see them do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, yeah? Yeah, that's good. Looks like a fish. And then in here? Yeah, the egg wash. <laughs> yeah, let's swim in there. Ooh. Ooh. Now into the chili panko breadcrumbs. Smack. Yeah. Smack that. Smack. Whoa. That looks crazy. That looks like perfection. Wow. <laughs> Get an evenly coat. <laughs> I know the viewers at home, mouth watering so badly right now. <laughs> Look at this thing. That's a really good coat. That's perfect. Damn, but you're a chef. So that's the original and Delaney's is the red one. That looks good. Yay. Good boy. So first we're gonna make some <laughs> onions. <laughs> we're cutting the onions up. And these vegetables are going straight into the curry. The way that I like my curry and the vegetables inside it is to be kind of like a cube. Potatoes, I like to cut them into the size of Rubik's cubes. Just one of the cubes, not the whole thing, not the big cube, but like mm -hmm. that size, okay? And carrots, uh, just the, maybe this big. Usually I don't like carrots, but when carrots are cooked in curry, and just slow cooked in the curry for that long. They become very soft and they melt when you bite into them. That's the best type of carrot. This is the size I want them. So I think uh, I don't know, around there. Right there. Is that too? Yeah, I think there's pretty good. His favorite, cutting onions. Cause they make me cry. 
like that. Perfect. Yeah, let's look at that. One, baby. Don't blow. <laughs> Number nine. Wow. Oh, God, how am I going to pay the rent this week? So that's the kind By of- By making more videos. <laughs> I guess I'm homeless because I make one video every five years. Oh, look at that cube right there. And then you just use your fingers and slide it off like that. Or you can just do that and then let it. Wait, are these too long? Don't worry about it. <laughs> so we're gonna get these cubes and put it into a bowl. All right. Bam! Cut it like that. And these ones, like I said, Rubik's cube size. Rubik's, Rubik's cube. Yeah? Yeah. Whoa, that's perfect. It's like a mango. Because these will become really soft as well. Like, uh, and you bite into it. Oh my god. So let me show again. That Rubik's cube kind of size. Yeah? <laughs> Rubik's cube, yeah? Look, look. So then I can be like, oh, Rubik's cube. You get it. You know what? It's not worth it. It wasn't worth it. It's never worth it. I'm, I'm off today. I'm having a hard time today. All right? Guys, you want to hear a joke? My main channel. There you go. The uploads wow. on my main channel. There's your joke for, <laughs> for the day. No more jokes from me. I'm a serious guy. I'm actually... I said the press deal. My eyebrows are all over the place and I haven't taken care of myself and I'm not feeling it today. So what? Deal with it. <laughs> carrots now, okay? Carrots. Once again, love carrots. You do? You just said you don't like carrots. I told you I'm off today, babe. I told you I'm off today. I like to have these carrots chopped in half. Like that. And then that way. This, that's the perfect size. Very good. Okay. Super nice. So on our previous cooking video, mm -hmm. a lot of people asked, why didn't you just use a grater? Do I look like someone who knows what a grater is? Huh? <laughs> Number one, I don't eat cheese. So I usually you get a grater to grate cheese, right? I don't eat cheese because I'm lactose intolerant. We just get shredded ones already. Why do I need a grater when I have this? I've just realized something very interesting. What? Onions. Yeah? Yeah. Raw. Oh. Really? Carrots. Raw. Oh. But potatoes raw. <laughs> Let's try a raw potato. So we're now making the curry. First, a bit of olive oil in your pot. This is how Delaney cooks at home. Nothing in it, because <laughs> she doesn't make the food. Stop roasting <laughs> <laughs> You don't cook either. This is my food. I'm just kidding. See. I kiss the fans like you. <laughs> we got medium hot. I'm usually low hot. Yeah, I'm Delaine surprised. is hot hot. I'm actually yes. surprised you got medium hot because he usually goes for mild. Whenever we eat at Nando's or whatever, he gets like a lemon and herb. I was just talking about appearance. I was making like a stupid joke. Uh. <laughs> I'm not feeling it, guys, all right? They do get mistaken for pieces of chocolate. So I got one of these, I opened it up, I was like, oh. I said, oh, my goodness, this chocolate. How's that a piece of chocolate? Tell me that's not a piece of chocolate. Doesn't that look like Cadbury chocolate? Tell me that doesn't look like chocolate, bruh. First, we want to cook the onions. Let them caramelize, get really sweet. So basically the way I cut it, if they're still intact, kind of looking like nice onion cubes instead of shredded onions. Thank you, cooking gods. Looking out for me, cooking gods. I forgot to film that. Can you do it again, please? No, 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 no. Look at that. Oh my god. Real? Delicious. The aromas in the kitchen right now. Oh my lord. I should be one of the Asians on MasterChef, all right? I have sad stories to say. I was cooking since I was six. Wow. Vote for me. Vote for me, bitch. Potato cube. This is actually my first time making curry, to be honest. I don't think I've ever made curry. Yeah. Every time we make curry, it's always you. So I am, uh, oh, I'm the yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I have no idea if the ratios are correct. Only the food gods will tell me. Is this 
little bit of toilet paper stuck on this cutting board. All right, there we go. Carrots. Yeah. Wow. You were shocked that worked, did you? Thank you, food gods. Looking out. Ah! Ah! Oh, okay. Food gods! How could you do me like this? I was looking cool. I burnt myself. Oh, you got too confident. Yeah. All right. We'll let that uh, boil. Then I'm gonna put two of the pieces of curry chocolate in there. Cook it on a low heat. Let it simmer. You don't want the fire to be too hot. You kind of want that just to. All the flavors are just like morning. <laughs> so while we wait for the curry to cook, we're gonna show you our anime collection. So I'll show you guys one tower of my collection. I don't wanna show you the whole collection just because I'm a bit of a weeb. So this is my favorite. Wow. So we have Zoro and Luffy. And these are my P.O.P. figurines, which are also my most expensive figurines. Right. So they're at the top there. And then down here, we have the brothers. We have Ace, Sabo, and Luffy. Down here are more just a bit of everything with the girls. Oh, oh my God, I love this one. This, is. this was my first P.O.P. of Chopper. And he's so cute. And then this is also another one of my favorites. This is Shirohashi and she's holding Luffy. She's also another P.O.P. And down here we just have a few figurines which I got from Japan from Crane Games or Lucky Dips and all. And this is my Zero Two. So she was the first character that I ever cosplayed as. So I really wanted her and I found her in Japan in Osaka and she's so beautiful. So up here we also have a little bit of my collection but this is mainly John's collection. And right at the top is my One Piece Chinese New Year collection. But I'm missing Frankie because when we were in Hong Kong, they didn't have Frankie. And so I replaced him with Trafalgar Law up there. But no Frankie, unfortunately. John's favorite anime is Jojo. So we've got a lot of Jojo going on here. And as you can see, Demon, Demon Slayer. This is all my pop toys of One Piece and they're behind here just because I have nowhere else to put them at the moment. I've got all of them here. Yay. Well, I hope you enjoyed our anime collection. <laughs> Whoa, ho, ho. That looks pretty good. It's getting a lot thicker now. Uh, the vegetables are slowly cooking. Almost time Smells to eat. Smells really good. And the rice is done too. Oh yeah, so steamy, so squishy. So this is the kind of rice I like. Very soft, almost like congee. <laughs> My favorite, it's very easy to eat this way. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Bro, that's looking thick, bro. That's looking so thick. Oh my. No. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna let it cook more. So it's now time to cook the chicken, but first, guess who I am? Da, 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 da. Captain America! I'm Spider Man. Oh. <laughs> so we are now going to deep fry the chicken. Usually, I never deep fry stuff in the kitchen. I'll try to do it outside in my Asian backyard, but uh, we don't have one of those, unfortunately. <laughs> So we're just gonna have to do it here. This is a lot of olive oil. I think it's always better to use the cheaper oil. Olive oil is a bit too expensive, especially if you're gonna use large amounts. But uh, we did not come prepared. And we can always reuse this. What my parents like to do is put the oil. How much oil would you wanna build? They get it. They get it. Show more. Is that more interesting than me? Is it? You know what? I don't have the pan anymore. Usually what my parents do is when they use the oil, they always reuse it kind of like McDonald's fries and they'll put it back into a pot. And sometimes like, because they cook in that backyard, moths will get inside it and other bugs, but it doesn't stop them. That explains a lot of stomach aches in my childhood actually. Now that I think about it, I used to get a lot of tummy aches and I didn't know why. So shouldn't your belly be strong by now, but it's still so weak? My belly's a dog. 
Good boy. I want a new dog. I want a new dog. Yeah, yeah. Can we get a new dog? So cute. I'm so cute. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'll pet like that. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you so close? Show the oil again. Get back to the oil. What is going on? So now we are going to test the oil. Oh, we're going to test the oil by using a chopstick and then we're going to put the delicious battered chicken inside. All right, let's test the heat. What does that do? See that? Zoom into that. That means the oil is hot and ready to be cooked. Moment of truth, there's our delicious katsu chicken. It's going in. And you want to cook that at a low to medium heat for three to four minutes. Flip it, flip it. It's so heavy! Whoa. That looks like a chicken parma. Yeah. Let's taste test. Oh my god. I don't want to burn so. Six plus. Woo! Good. Potato so soft. We're gonna make some eggs too, just because everything tastes better with eggs. I'm just making scrambled eggs, so. What is this? Is this one? Why does it look like this? Anyway. Uh... <laughs> Let's hope that it's cooked inside. We're gonna just cut into it. Oh, crispy. Oh. Ooh. Oh. 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 Is that cool? I think so. Why is this piece so big? Oh. It looks a bit pinkish. <laughs> I don't think that's cooked. <laughs> Nine one one. Can I please do that again? How's this triple zero? Oh, triple zero zero. Well, thank God we made two of these because this one looks more like a katsu chicken. The oh. other one looked like uh, a football that we've deep fried. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that was good. Crispy. Look at that. Can you see that? That's cooked all the way through. Yeah. Ooh, this one looks pretty good. Let's try a bit. That's pretty good. Ooh. <laughs> so this is a chili piece that we made before. Can you taste the difference? No. <laughs> Time to do some plating. Yay, finally. Ooh. Bowl of rice. Look how squishy this rice is, guys. I love it. Now, yeah. we'll add nice. some of the chicken. Chicken! Along there. Whoa. Actually, facing this way is better. That was our first time deep frying any food. Yes. Like, I swear, you know, if it's not cooked properly, just chuck it back into the oil. I again. thought we did pretty good. We did okay. Yeah, we did all right. Don't be so hard on yourself. I'll say, a decent job. Are you making gum thumb? <laughs> it looks like gum thumb. Does it? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it doesn't look too bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a dakima. It is finally dinner time with us, the katsu chicken curry, our first attempt ever. I would say we did an okay job. I think Not we did shabby. pretty decent. 
I mean, that's what it looks like right there. Wow. Coco Kari, hire us. <laughs> the only problem is we let the curry thicken up way too much, yep. but that's not a problem. You just add a bit of water and it will just be more liquidy. Um, the chicken probably has to be a little bit thinner. It's a bit too thick. Yeah. And um, I, I think we were fooling around in the kitchen too much, especially off screen. We had a few uh, silly moments there. Presentation wise, probably a 6.8. That's pretty high considering your ratings. <laughs> Alright, let's begin. The most important thing is taste. So mm. let's just try yes, it out. Yes, that's true. Ooh! Coming soon. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Let's try it out. Let's try it. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, this is really thick, this curry. Yes. Yeah, the curry is quite thick. Mmm! It's still tasty though. Like. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Everything's so soft, very easy to eat. The only vegetables I like is when it just slides away. I think the only thing is we need more flavoring with the chicken. Mm, that's true. So we have this good old Japan helping us out. Mm. I mean, we use this all the time anyway, so. But you can't go wrong with curry. Oh, that's delicious. Mmm. See, now it's just all of this. It's a lot better with the, the spices. Just add the spice on that. We haven't eaten anything all day. This is our first meal once again. And we tend to uh, rush things when we're really hungry. That's good. But I want to keep making this, practice more, mm. maybe make another 20 times and then show you guys in the future because it will be perfected by then. Maybe we can do some pork too. We go delusional when we don't eat anything mm. and then film. Yeah, the chicken's almost there. It's not 100% there. It needs to be juicier. Yeah, I mean, it's just like a piece of dry, crispy chicken. <laughs> we want to thank everyone who purchased the cutlery set. We sold out in an hour and a half, which was yeah. incredible. Did not yeah. expect that at all. I don't think yeah. we've actually talked about our cutlery set yet. No, we haven't. Mm. And uh, we're gonna have an official release probably in late August, somewhere around there, and we'll have enough stuff for everyone, unless it's- So stay tuned. There's a lot more coming, mm. and we're very excited about it. It was actually really fun packing and sending out all oh, the cutlery yeah. sets yeah. to you guys. Like when I was just going through each order to see where you guys are all from. I know for the first orders, you guys all got a handwritten note from me, but it was really nice doing it. And I had lots of fun, so I can't wait to release more cutlery sets so I can pack them all for you guys. It's a lot of work though. A bit of stress, a few mm -hmm. problems here mm -hmm. and there, creating an online little business. Yeah, it But it was easy. a lot of fun. It was really fun making it. Mm. And I like making these videos because we'll never make these types of recipes if it wasn't for you guys. That's true. <laughs> At least the katsu is really crispy and everything too. Mm. I mean, well, I'm got, still eating it. Oh, a really weird piece. And look how much I finished. I've just been stuffing myself while you were talking. Victoria has loosened up the restrictions a lot more this month. Restaurants are opening as well. So I think we're going to be doing restaurant videos in Melbourne pretty soon. Yeah? Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Oh, this one's actually has more flavor. The oh, chili. really? Yeah, try. With the chili oh, powder. Yeah. yeah, you get a nice kick. Mm. A lot more flavorful. Mmm. Mm. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed dinner time with Johnny and Jungkook. I really enjoyed it. Why am I Jungkook? Chicken curry katsu. Mm -hmm. I would give this 7.4 out of 10. Try it out for yourself and if you do better than us, which I'm sure you will, yeah, yeah. let us know how it goes. Yeah, yeah, you guys give it a go if you want. It's very simple. You saw how easy the process was and make your own version and I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. Trust me, it's a good dish, very simple. You can make it in bulk size and you can have it for the rest of the week. We've been John and Delina. Dinner time with us. We'll see you next time. Good boy. I should get uh, dog pants yeah, and put it right should. here. No, why? That's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Love you always. Bye. I wasn't recording. <laughs>